guys, yours truly Megan here. Welcome back to my channel and part two of the 10 vintage sofas I find are worth the money. If you haven't watched part one yet, well, just, just pop over here. Pop over here and take a look. I'll be right here when we get back, I promise. For the rest of you, let's get started. The first sofa, many might not really consider, quote, vintage, but they say vintage is at least 20 years old, and this sofa is from 1997, so I think it falls into the time frame correctly. Of course, you could buy it brand new because it is still produced, but maybe you can give an older one a new loving home. I am talking about the Charles Sofa from B&B Italia. Even though realized in the late 90s, the design of the sofa was to honor and reflect on 1950s mid-century design, hence its naming, which was after the father of mid-century design, Mr. Charles Ames. Now this sofa was on my radar at that time as I was coming out of my shabby chic phase, don't judge, and moving into my more 1930s, 40s true Hollywood glam sprinkled with mid-century. I didn't want to get a sofa that was so specifically time stamped in design. I wanted one, especially when I was going to pay such a high price that I could keep for many years and would be compatible with many design eras as I knew my taste could evolve and change. That was until I discovered the Cork and Seta sofa. See my first video. A true mid-century design with the same flat, sleek design, but much more versatile and for less much less money. But don't get me wrong, the Charles Sofa is a versatile sofa system depending on the pieces you buy and how you arrange them. It still has a warm place in my heart to this day because then I was, I had reached a point in my life and career where a sofa of that exquisite design and price was actually in my reach. I had my whole space planned around the sofa and was ready to order. Okay, little story time. It was maybe just not the awe and intrigue of the Concetta sofa's amazing versatility that changed my mind. It was also a certain piece of photography art that I had the chance to purchase. I could not afford the Charles and the art. So Megan got the Concetta and the art. Want to know what that art was? from an award-winning photographer I might add? Well, you have to come back for a visit when I post my tips on gallery walls. And I mean walls like in an art gallery. Turn on that notification bell. Brand new, be prepared for 11 to 12,000 upwards and used on first dips, there was a beautiful leather three-seater for just under 7,000. Okay, staying with 50s design, there is a designer and his sofas that sparked my love for 40s and 50s elegant glamour decor. The one and only of Letterman Kagan and his serpentine or curved sofas. Ah, my heart palpitates. Kagan was born in Worms, Germany in 1927, even though he should not have been. His father was a World War I Russian soldier who was caught and held in Germany. After the war, he married a German woman from Munich and the family, including Vladimir's sister, Tanya. <laughs> For those who uh, don't know, my first name is Tanya. Feeling the connection here, Munich, Germany, Tanya. Okay, the family moved to the United States and Kagan went on to study architecture at the University of Columbia. He designed the Serpentine in the 1950s. Over time, in many shapes and with connection pieces, giving the sofa component styling versatility. One day I, I will own one of these sofas. Definitely when I have a larger office slash beauty space, my woman cave, the elegance is everything to me. And that will run me probably 4,000 and upwards. And I have seen as high as 47,000. Okay, now for another sofa that I own. Third one on this list and another Italian design. The Soriana sofa from the design couple Tobias and Afra Scarpa for Casina. We just talked about the Serpentine sofa, which I can admit many may see as more feminine. 
then in my opinion, the Soriana is the masculine pendant. This is the only sofa on my list that I would truly sway away from the leather version. I feel in leather, this sofa comes across too hard. The mini soft velvet like materials or in corduroy, which I have, I feel are more versatile with different design styles and eras. Also, I am not a fan of the larger three-seater version of the sofa. I feel the two-seater, single-seater, a chaise lounge, or and the ottoman are the best pops of contrast in your interior design. I wanted an extreme contrast to my green cork and set of sofa, but a lower sitting sofa because it would sit in the position that separated my living room and my dining room, replacing my black concetta sofa. This started my search for the Soriana. It was fate. <laughs> Friday searching, found the black cord two-seater, saved it in my favorite, but the dealer was registered in another country. So I'm contacting customs to see what my import cost would be and the seller contacts me. I explained what I was doing and he says, no, 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 no import. It is in one of my warehouses 40 minutes from you. Do you want to come by? Uh, yeah. So these are the pics I took at the warehouse on Saturday to show my husband. And on Tuesday, the sofa was sitting in my apartment. Remember this when filtering out dealers on first dibs. They resource all over the world and may have warehouses in different locations. An item may be closer to you than you think. And I really had luck because my sofa was planned to go on a container ship within two weeks to his US warehouse. And the reason why I didn't show you the pics of the sofa styled in my apartment it's because I'm working on something new right behind the sofa. You guys, I can't show my full hand quickly. A couple of years ago, you could find a Soriana two-seater for a couple thousand, especially on liveauctioneers.com. Leave that here and in the description box. Actually, this is where a lot of dealers source their own items. But now due to increased popularity, 8,000 and up is what you're gonna have to pay. Again, a company wanted to cash in on renewed popularity and Casina started producing new versions of the Soriana, but with different colored metal details. Don't know if that was a way to differentiate between the vintage and the new for collectors, but me no likey, I don't like it. Okay, now for another very known and popular design icon, the Togo Sofa System. The only French designer on my list, Michel Ducaroy, was born in 1925 into a family of designers. Design was in his blood. After studying at the École Nationale de Beaux-Arts, then establishing himself as an independent designer in 1952, he joined the design furniture brand Linné Rosé in 1954. He realized the Togo in 1973 with three seaters, two seaters, corner and single units allowing and what is common on my list design flexibility either in textile or leather this sofa is the perfect lounge 70s style love for this sofa has kept it in production for over 50 years pricing can run you about 2000 per unit okay the last two sofas, and I will be very honest with you, if you want to click off now, you can because they are extremely expensive and need a very large living space to give them the glory they deserve. I know I don't have either one, but they are so worth the money if you do. Until now, my list has been dominated by Italian design, except for Core, which is a German company headquartered and produced in Bielefeld, Germany, and of course the French Linné Rosé. Well, we are going to even that out with the Swiss company De Seder. Started in 1962 in a workshop in Klingnau, Switzerland, committed themselves to transforming the best possible leather into seating furniture and then expanding their production in Germany in 1973. In 1972, the modular snake-shaped seating concept DS600 revolutionized the furniture market. Like the core Concetta, based on buying a number of singular modules that can be connected to one another for personal taste, 
style, and wish. Personal goal, seriously. A huge New York loft with 20 DS600 pieces snaking through the space. Are you with me here? Can you picture it? In 1974, Ubald Klug designs the Terrassa DS25, today known as the DS1025. True to its name, imitating terrace levels of a landscape. You can find one side of Terrassa for a little under 20,000, but come on, you truly need two for the perfect effect. And the DS600 just have 50,000 to 150,000 sitting and ready. Okay guys, that is my list. Some I own, some on my wish list, whether fantasy or realistic. <laughs> which ones are you interested in? And which ones do you wanna start saving for? Thanks for stopping by. And as always, yours truly, part making. Start saving. Part two and action. National de Beaux Arts, then establishing. Blah, 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 I knew it. I was so proud that I got Ecole Nationale de Beaux Arts. <laughs> Fuck the rest of it up.